Hello everybody, my name is John Sellers with the Regenerative Center at Seven Cedars Farm. I'm the executive director of this ministry and for those of you who haven't seen one of our videos or spoke to me before, what uh, the Lord has led Amanda and I to do is to start a ministry using our regenerative agriculture farm uh, for young men ages 18 to 28 where they can come and they can live here for a minimum, they have to commit to a minimum of one year and they will learn the gospel, work through the 12 steps of recovery, and work in the regenerative ag field out here doing chores so we can eat delicious, organic, nutrition, nutritious food every day. And our hopes are, is that during this time of learning the gospel and getting living examples that our Heavenly Father will do a regenerative work in their hearts while they're here. So this this ministry and my desires based from my own history back in 20, 2012 the lord called me out of a uh, serious alcoholism and addiction problem uh, rooted in a deep sin problem uh, that i didn't even understand the the magnitude of or the damage that it was doing within my home within my family and within my community as a matter of fact since our first video earlier this year, I just want y'all to know there's been a long time between the last video and this video, and there, there, we've been through some tough personal losses. Between the last day of February and May, uh, my family lost my daddy, a friend's 12-year-old daughter, and my sister to cancer in May. And uh, went through a really tough time there from about February to June. Uh, a lot of trials, a lot of grief, I really thought about completely giving up. Uh, I just, I just, you know, Satan tried to influence me to uh, just give up on this thing and made me question whether this was something I really needed to do. But I'm gonna tell you, God, uh, God is faithful, and God has brought along, brought along just in the last few months since I've been back working really hard in the last three or four months on this ministry, fundraising, developing our board. And we've had so many people come alongside us now. Let me tell you all about some of those things. C Spire, local tele telecommunications company, local to Mississippi, for those of you watching that aren't from here, uh, to the southeast, local to the southeast, has donated high-speed internet uh, to our ministry. They're going to allow us to get it. And we're out in the middle of nowhere, literally. 30 miles from a major metropolitan city. So having high speed fiber optic cable just happened to go by providentially go by my mailbox and then me putting in for a grant with them. They're gonna grant us that. This means that our young men will be able to finish their GED. They'll be able to pursue other educational opportunities. We'll be able to bring in speakers from all over the world. Uh, it's just huge to be able to have that connectivity out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, another one of our big uh, donations has come from Camper Corral. Uh, Camper Corral's donated a really nice RV to get our initial housing started. Haynes Auto Electric donated all the electrical things that we needed to get it going, uh, to get it hooked up. Uh, we've just had an outpouring. Ayers Delta Implement Company and Stanley Ayers family have agreed to donate and actually it should be arriving in the next week our farming equipment which includes a Kubota M130 uh, four-wheel drive farming tractor so this is just huge that we were able to get this uh, we're able to get these benefactors to come around us uh, the next big thing one of our neighbors who's an elder in in the parent church to mine and Amanda, mine and Amanda's church um, has donated a 2,100 square foot home. Uh, it's just three quarters of a mile down the road from our ministry. Uh, you'll be seeing some video of this home uh, here and it's not your typical, I'm donating this home. It does have to be moved, but this is a beautiful home with a two car garage that we can close in and will be an ample sized bunkhouse to carry us out to where we hope to be with 12 to 15 young men living here, growing in Christ, growing in character, growing in fear and admonition of the Lord, and to God be the glory. Uh, we've had many other significant donations from individuals, a $1,000 generator, a tiller, um, 
we've we've got insight for growth and is a company owned by Rennie Bumpus that is taking it upon themselves to volunteer a, a very valuable retreat training for our board, which has just been amazing. Our board has been through a lot of growth, a lot of development uh, over the last just couple of months. We've actually on our board now, we have a young psychiatrist named Finn Perkins, who's gonna donate his services to the ministry as well as serve on the board. He's gonna look after some general medical care for the men. Some of these young men coming out of alcohol and drug treatment will be on MAT, which is medically assisted therapy. He's gonna help monitor them. Uh, we have a CPA that's now on our board. We have a board attorney. Uh, we have a invigorated board who's really got their heart set on this ministry now. And we are just excited about what God is doing what God has done and the things that he's bringing to this ministry. Um, as I said, we've been, we've, been through some, we've been through some tough times, we've been through some trials, been through some discouragement, and I think any time we go into ministry, Satan's gonna try to discourage us, but we are reinvigorated, God is faithful, we're moving forward with this thing. We have quite a few needs still um, coming up. We're planning on moving our first four young men in this fall, hopefully by the end of October. And um, the, regenerative, the Regenerative Center at Seven Cedars Farm is a 501c3 nonprofit. So all, deduct, all donations to our ministry are tax deductible, fully tax deductible. And we're asking our brothers and sisters in Christ to come around us. We already have 14 individuals who are donating monthly now on a monthly basis to fund our initial operating budget. And this is one of the things that we need. We also have to move that home that we spoke of three quarters of a mile down the road. We have some other infrastructure needs. So there's lots of needs that can still be met. Uh, so if any of you out there, Christian brothers and sisters who have a heart for broken young men and want to see the impact it's made by a life change. Because let me tell you, one life change is not just one life. One young man between the ages of 18 and 28 not only changes his life when he commits to walking in Christ, but it changes his family around him, it changes his workplace, it changes his potential spouse, it changes the potential spouse he'll choose. It has a domino effect. You multiply that times 12 to 15 men, and then multiply that times two parents, and you see that this can have a major kingdom impact. So please contact us. You can get me through Facebook. You can get me through my cell phone, which is on, on Facebook and on our website. Our website is the number seven, the word cedars, sevencedars.farm. And you can, you can contact us there, you can donate there, you can get a hold of us, and we would love to have you come alongside of us, help us through this thing. Uh, we'll be sending out emails, uh, newsletters, and if you wanna be a part of the newsletter, just email me at TRC, the Regenerative Center, at seven, the number seven, the word cedars dot farm. Email me and I'll put you on the email list and so you'll know exactly what we're doing, how we're coming along, what's going on in these men's lives. And if you donate, you'll know exactly how your funds are working to further the kingdom of Christ Jesus. We pray over this thing. We pray that everything that we do will be of him and not of us, that much will be made of our God and, and as little of us as possible. This is all about him. This is all about making some changes in people's lives and people's hearts that the Holy Spirit's gonna do. And we wanna give him all the credit and all the glory. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. God bless you.